Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to take a look at the new player house feature that was just released in update five. With it, we're going to be able to have other player houses and I couldn't find anywhere to purchase them, but I did find a way to actually place them down. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to give you guys a huge thank you. You guys have been absolutely amazing in the past few days, like especially in my comment section. Like I've had so many nice, like super sweet messages from all of you and I just, I appreciate you all so much. And we've also grown to a thousand new friends over here on this channel. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. It seriously means so much to me. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. Let's take a look at the features for this. So if you pull up your uh, furniture tab, here's a tab here for house. You can now click on it and any of the premium shop items that you've actually purchased are gonna be in here. So I only have one, I have Prince Eric ship. We are gonna go ahead and place this down. I'm gonna place it about right there. So my other house, my main house is the little cottage one that is over here. So this is the one I use. It has all the loot that I normally would. I want this cottage skin back because you can only have one skin per house like on your valley at a time. So I can only have one of Eric's ship on my valley. I can only have one of the cottage one. So I'm gonna change this one back to my uh, like white and pink house. We're gonna place that down. So now that I've done that, I can then go over here, go to my house, and I can place this house down. So I have three houses total on my valley right now. And then to make this even crazier, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go over here to the shop and purchase the Nightmare Castle. It is 3,750, absolutely ridiculous price, but I wanna be able to show you guys at least four houses. And let's, let's be honest, I just wanna buy it anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and buy the Nightmare Castle, continue, and this is gonna give me another house to place down. So back in our inventory house, and now I have another one. Um, Let's place it right there. So I have my Eric ship, my cottage house, I have this Nightmare house, and I have my normal house right here. So the normal house is completely filled with stuff. I can then go into any of my houses. So I have my nightmare castle here. And as you see inside, it is a brand new house. There's no elevator. So there's not multiple floors. There's not 20 floors, but I do have my main room and I have three other rooms. And the fact that you can just sit here and decorate these, you can put them as like whatever you want them to be. So wallpaper, you know, you could do this. Obviously you probably would rather have this one in your little nightmare house but you can decorate it, you can place whatever you want. So let's go back to the main room. We're gonna change the wallpaper again. I'm gonna place it to that. We'll just do three sides. And then we're gonna go down to the floor. We got floor right here. Uh, don't really have anything decent for this house. Let's just slap this down for now. So I've decorated a little bit. I can then leave. And then if I go into another house, like my purple cottage house, it has its own inventory, its own space, and all that good stuff as well. So that just shows, we were kind of confused when we first got this. Can we decorate in the house? Is all of our houses gonna share the same inventory, the same inside, the interior, and all that? No. This is actually probably one of the best features I've actually seen added to the game. Obviously, it's more incentive for you to actually spend your real money making moonstones and getting these things but at least now when we're buying skins they're not just a skin you're actually buying a house and so you can obviously make massive like huge decorations like you can really change the whole aesthetic of a certain biome with a specific house and you don't have to pick and choose anymore you just have all these houses at your disposal so I'm probably actually gonna start picking up a few more houses now that they're actually a little bit worth it more now than they used to be. And I, they're still super expensive, so I'm not gonna go crazy with it. But if I do see a house, I'm a little more inclined to uh, buy it. But this is also the new like Nightmare Castle. I think it looks really cool. So I also kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And if you want to get it, you know, that's up to you. I actually really like it. I love the cottage. I bought Eric's bow. I don't know if I like it so much, but I would like to have more houses for the ocean. 
and I don't know if they're ever going to add Captain Jack Sparrow to the game, but if we get the Black Pearl in the game, oh my gosh, could you imagine having Eric's boat out there, the Black Pearl, it's just going to be a really good time. But that is it for the video. I just made a really quick short video for you today. I wanted to showcase this to you. If you couldn't find where these were, they are in their own tab now. And uh, I think they're really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.